hello friends so are you thinking to buy a new phone and are you looking for specifications of on internet you might have seen that many sites that there are phone this phone has snapdragon 650 and this one has snapdragon 625 and so on so there is some again a new thing in the snapdragon processors that um, this processor has arm cortex a57 architecture and has 8 cores and other one has 625 processor which is having ARM Cortex A57 architecture with 6 cores and all these things. So we will be discussing what is ARM Cortex A72, A53, A57 and the main difference between them. I will try to explain it in very simple words as I can. So let's get started. So first of all, we are having this ARM Cortex A53, A57 architectures. So what does this mean? The ARM is a company, is a company which provides set of instructions to uh, which is called as architecture for the processors and this is used by Snapdragon, Samsung and even Apple's to make their processor. So ARM is a company and A53 and A57 is the architectures. Architectures for mobile computing. Mobile computing. Now let's see the differences differences between A57 and A72. So as the number suggests, uh, 72 will be having higher power as compared to 57. So uh, the simple thing is that A72 will have more complex design as compared to uh, a57 simple design what is mean by simple design and complex design is that data transfer from room to ram is faster faster because it has it has a higher uh, volume of cache available cache and data transfer between ROM and RAM is slower that's why the A72 will give you more power as compared to A57 so again there is a one more difference that on which technology this uh, architecture has been built one is called like 10 nanometer 14 nanometer and here we can have 18, 28 nanometer or 14, 16 nanometer. So uh, nanometer means the distance between different transistors. Uh, if mm, it is 10 nanometer, the distance will be less and the data transfer will be faster. And it will be slower in case uh, we have 28 nanometer or 16 nanometer uh, technologies. So overall this will have more power more power and this will have more power efficient as uh, data transfers will be more and it has to do more things it will consume more power uh, but it will give you high performance and A57 will give you uh, little less performance but it will give you more, uh, more power efficiency the battery will last longer. So that's all the simple thing is that if you have uh, architecture with less number it will have a greater battery life but it will have less performance and if you have architecture with higher number it will have more performance and less power efficiency. That's all for today's video if you like it hit that subscribe button and if you have some query do let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video have a nice day.